28. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a certified home health aide. Certified for home health aid. Um, I smiled from that tonight. You have any kids? Yes, I do. I have eight. Mm. Wait, what did she say? I have eight. Mm. How old are you? Twenty-eight. You have eight kids that you gave birth to? Yes, ma'am. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when the next videos are posted. And we're off. We've got a woman here, just a very great disposition, very sweet, very soft-spoken, seems to be a really good person has six children by one man, never married to him, talked about him being abusive, having drug problems. Well, let me tell you this. Any woman who has six kids by one man has an addiction, and I put the stress on the right syllable, has an addiction of her own. And I, needless to say, is the kind of addiction that can lead to childbirth. The entire video from the Kendra G Show is in the description all the way at the bottom. You'll find the link. Here we go. You gave birth to eight kids. Yes. How old are these kids? Uh, uh, my oldest just turned 10. My daughter is seven. Then my next son, he's six. Then I have a set of twins who will be five on the 29th of this month. And my second set of twins, they just turned three in November. Then I have a one-year-old son. A one-year-old son? Yes. All by the same man? Uh, uh, six of them are, and the other two have another dad. Okay. So, so you had a baby a year ago? Yes. So, the okay. So, tell me, you said six of them are, and then which two have a different dad? Um, my second son and my daughter. Your second? Okay, so let's start. The one-year-old and the three-year-old twins, the five-year-old twins, they're all the same father? Yes, and my oldest. And, and your oldest at 10. And then you all took a break? Yeah. Okay. So why are you not with the man you had a baby with one year ago, three years ago, five years ago? Oh, my God, Kendra. That man, he is just <laughs> drug problems. Mm. Um abusive it i tried to stay but it's, it just didn't work out clearly that brother is renovating those walls knocking the bottom totally out of socket six kids you couldn't when when did she did see this is where we miss kevin samuels he would have asked very specifically when did you know he was abusive when did you know he was a drug addict? And how did you still, is there a way to try and work on a relationship despite the fact that he's all of these things without having children? Could that possibly be done? Apparently not. Well, you had how many kids by, you had six kids by him. Six kids, yeah. And then between our oldest son, there was a break where I had um, my six-year-old son and my seven-year-old daughter. And mm. then I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go back to him, try to give it another shot, but it just wouldn't work. Oh my God, this chick here is a baby factory. She has, well, there were not six at that point, but she has all of these kids, breaks up. Guess what someone else has even more kids that doesn't work out either. And she goes back to the abuser who's also a drug addict. My goodness, his game is strong. Talk about big energy. So I understand you're saying it wouldn't work because of he has drug problems. But you know, I like to ask the question that I know men would ask because you're here for a guy. Why did you have six kids for him if he had all those issues? Whoa. That question was lingering out there so much that even Kendra had to ask it. Normally, when a woman says it just didn't work out, Kendra says, okay, 
fair enough, and moves on. Not this time. This was too extreme, even for her. I can't wait to hear it. Because I tried to stay, you know, to see if he would change, get better, and I just didn't want to be with nobody else. I was really in love with him and wanted to see him get better. I tried to help him throughout his drug problems. And then his other thing was not having a job. Uh, he's a self-employed barber and that didn't really, never really took off. But I, I tried to stay with that man, Kendra, I did, but it just So what was worked. your final straw? Because you had a baby a year ago. So what was the final straw for you? My final straw was when, it, it's crazy, but my other kid's baby father, he sent um, a picture of his private part <laughs> to my phone. And I didn't know that um, he did that until I went to uh, sleep one night. I woke up, he was just like, he was mellow, calm and stuff. And I was like, well, um, I forgot what I asked him, but he just like went off. And so I'm like, okay, let me go check my phone. And I seen the picture and I said, oh my gosh. So he packed up all his stuff and he left. And I was texting him. I'm like, yo, like, what's up with you? Like, why are you acting like this? Cause we had previously had sex like that night before. And what, what baby just, daddy you previously had sex with? The, the one year old baby daddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And so, um, when he, t he, I called him while he was on the road leaving because he lives in, uh, I'm from Philly. He lives in Philly, from Philly too. You didn't hear this part, but she's now in some place called Man, Georgia. I've never heard of it. I don't know where it is. She didn't ask her, is it near Atlanta or Savannah? So I don't know. And so I was like, yo, like, what's up with you? Why'd you leave like this? He was like, um, yeah, the stuff that I seen in your phone, check your phone. I was like, oh, wow. So that was so like was it fair to say he left you, you didn't leave him? No, no but I we had we was in Jacksonville, uh, Florida or whatever, and we had like a big argument because he always accused me of uh, being with my other baby father. My other baby father doesn't even know I live in Georgia. He hasn't known that for years now. I've been here for almost three years. Well, he will likely know now. People underestimate the reach of Kendra's show. Man, Georgia can't be that big. I've got a feeling her man will be there. And so um, we had got into like a big argument or whatever while we was in Jacksonville um, in the beginning of July. And I was like, you know what? When we get back home, like I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. And then that happened with the picture or whatever, like shortly after we had gotten back. And so, yeah, it was like, it's, it's just done. That's uh, one of the babies in the background? <laughs> yeah, my one-year-old. <laughs> okay. So, okay, here's a one-year-old. So the other child's father, he's not in your children's life? Not really, no. No! Okay, but he texted you his picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, basically, he wants to get back just to have sex. Like, he doesn't oh. send me money for the kids or whatever. He doesn't call to check on them or anything mm. like that. So that, that's just basically how it is with him. Right. So let me just jump. I'm going to start with this question. Because, again, you're here for men, and I hear men talk about this all the time. What would you say to the guy that feels like eight children might just be too much for him? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. Um. I mean, the amount of kids doesn't really matter. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Because uh, they're all well taken care of, and I'm a great woman, despite having so many children, and I only have two baby fathers. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. I mean, nothing really to worry about. And we're going to just leave it there. And I wanted to highlight this video for a couple of different reasons. The first of which is what a premium women put on a Climax. And look, oh. I get it. Climaxes feel fantastic. They feel great. Men love them. Mm. Women love them. But to put up with so much, a drug addict who's abusive unless she was lying and trying to paint him in a bad light and 
He left her. She did not really leave him. I don't care what she says. And then the delusion in the end about it doesn't even matter. She's got all of these kids. They're well taken care of. because She's a certified nursing assistant, which is basically a minimum wage earning old people lifter. And then you've got the other baby daddy who didn't want any kids, clearly. All he wanted from her was And... The fact that he keeps on coming through says to me she's entertaining him despite the fact that he does nothing for the kids, gives her no money for the kids, and her consolation, eight kids, at least I've only got two baby daddies. She said it in a sheepish way, so, you know, even she could, didn't have her heart into that weak cell job. Well, the whole video is in the um, description. I already said that. Tell me I'm wrong. You can't. This woman will buy a dog and die alone. Buy a dog and die alone. Until next time, that's it. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you know when the next videos are posted.